that for ourselves. And sometimes we're against our parents told us. But thanks be to God that once we have Him on our side, we rely on Him. As Paul said, when I'm weak, I'm strong. And when I'm strong, I'm weak. If we're relying on Him for everything, we can't go wrong. And you know, today our bishop wants us to sing, This is my story, this is my song. For me, in my life, to encourage others, I would prefer them to hear my story sometimes. Yes. Now we can quote the scriptures, it's important because this is our manual yes. for life. Yes. But we're going to go through things. Because without, there's a song that says, if I never had problems, I wouldn't know that God would solve. Yes. I wouldn't know what faith yes. in God would do. So for me, my story, my song, whatever trials and tribulations we may go through, we go through them for a reason. Yes. The whole idea of us being here today to worship the Most High is because we understand that our life has a purpose. What we have when we see people going past this building, going about their business, some will be getting rid of the carnival and so on. I've been there once. I remember those days when bank holiday was all about having fun. Even though I grew up in the church, there was a time when I would go and I enjoyed it. Part of me always, always was passionate about God. And I found that even when I was not living right for God, I was always praying. And He always answered. And I used to wonder to myself, why would he answer my prayers still, even though I'm not serving him? But he knew in my heart that there was a heart that was there for him, and that eventually I would come back to him. So for all of us parents who are struggling with our children, never give up. Never ever give up. Never give up. Because as long as they have had that seed that has been planted, it must bring forth good fruit. It must bring. Because the life's journey will bring them back to him. But we know the truth. The whole idea of our faith is that it's been revealed to us that there is a truth and a purpose. And the greatest thing for me is that I feel in my spirit I have to sing this verse twice and I'm going to carry on. And the word says, Many things about tomorrow that I don't see to understand. But I know who holds the future, and I know who holds my hand. One more time, saints. Many things about tomorrow that I. Certain people are going to reach. 
and the Bible says never to judge because even when we think we're doing the right, we're still doing it. No, he's such a perfect God, as David said. His, his grace is such, I can't attain it. You know, we understand the God that we serve is so perfect, but the great thing is that the way man judges us, God doesn't judge us that way. No. He sees the heart. Yes. And although we're living for him and our heart is for him, he's always away. Yes. Always away. There are so many great prophets in the Bible that we look at them right now, we find God to David, the amount of things that he went through and mistakes that he made in this day. Found guilty, but look how he's exalted in the Bible. A great man. Look at Joseph, who was betrayed by his own brothers, and still God seeks favor on his life. And the great things that he was able to reveal to great kings. God is merciful, yes. he's, his mercy endures forever, as the Bible tells us. He's a great, great God. So, for me to be here today to be speaking about Genesis, I never had no plans. I said, Lord, let your will be done. Yes. Let your spirit, as the day the sun was. Spirit of the living God, fall upon me. You know, let him fall afresh on us. Let him have his way. Our genius, servants of his, is to be available to be used by the King of Kings. We don't know how he's going to use us, but we need to be available to be used. You know, we never grow old. The songs that never grow old in a land where we never grow old. They retire you all the time in society. They say, oh, you're too old to do this now. You know, many who don't have Christ, they go into old age and they are lost to the world. So many great gifts that they could have had to share with them when we come to Christ, it's never over. Once the breath is still going in the body, we can still function. If we can see night, we're blessed for that many years, we can still serve the most like God. Those years of wisdom, it's good for the young to hear. So I want to give God the thanks, the praise and the honour. Before I finish, I'll speak on how I'm taking up so far. I want us all to stand and praise God together. Father, faith, lean on the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have come this far. Yes, we have.
Genesis and the reminder of how truly blessed we are what we come to know of him. Our greatest blessing is our life. Life is such a precious, precious thing. I remember when they were at the floods, I think it was in um, Pakistan, I saw a very elderly gentleman hanging in the water, so a small piece of water. And I thought, how precious is life? There's so many times we can take it for granted. Yes. But we who have life in Christ have it in fullness. And you promised the life that is more than this, eternal life. Where there is no pain, there is no death, there is no sorrow. All those things are going to go away. The Bible says, Paul says, those that are joined to the end. That was the one that shall be saved. But whatever we are going through, we know that it's a testament for somebody else, not just for us. Sometimes for somebody else. But the grace of God, which endures forever, is what keeps us going. Thanks be to God. I'm going to end by seeing one, one quote. We sing together, please together. And I'm going to go, in Jesus' name. Amen. Your grace and mercy brought me through and I'm living this moment because of you and I want to thank you and praise you too